Awesome sauce. Scene one, Apple, take one. What's up, everybody? How's it going out there? Ignore my dog. She's panting. We just got back from a little bit of a run. But we are going to be making Long John Silvers today. Now, I'm only going to be making the shrimp, okay? But if you wanted to do this with the chicken strips, you could. If you want to do this with um, uh, cod for the fish portion, you can, okay? We're going to be making the batter. We're going to take out a mortar and pestle. And I am going to put some kosher salt in here. And that right there is about, oh, well, let's put a little bit more. We want to right about that. That's about three quarters of a teaspoon. We're going to be putting a touch of garlic powder inside here. Not garlic salt, but garlic powder. And that's only about an eighth of a teaspoon. And we're going to be putting about the same amount of onion powder inside there. We're going to be putting some crushed black pepper. And we want to probably end up putting close to about a half of a teaspoon. We need to add a little bit of color to this, so we're going to end up adding a little bit of paprika. Maybe a half of a teaspoon. Okay, you're ready for the thing that everybody gets wrong? Yeah, because I always leave it out. Fennel seed. Fennel seed, guys. And now we will grind all of this up. If you don't have a mortar and a pestle, what you can do is just put this in a coffee grinder. So we're going to be adding some sugar into this as well to kind of sweeten it up just a little bit. That's maybe three quarters of a teaspoon, half of a teaspoon. Right now I've got some oil heating up, by the way. And I'm going to be putting a little bit of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. About a quarter of a teaspoon. This right here is potato starch, but you can use corn starch, okay? And I'm going to be putting about a quarter of a cup. Here is some regular all-purpose flour. And we're going to be putting about half a cup. And I'm going to be putting about a tablespoon of corn flour or cornmeal. So I'm going to start adding some water to this. And that is better. Uh, what we want to do is come down here grab the base of this, just kind of pull all the way around, remove the shell, okay, pretty much like that, okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of starch on there. We dip those in starch and it's going to end up helping take away some of that moisture, kind of create a glue, we dip it in there and it's going to stick. Put a little bit of potato starch on these to absorb a little bit of that um, extra water that is on there, okay? And you, you don't need a whole lot. We just, we just need enough to kind of absorb, get this to stick on there. Okay, okay, pretty much just like that. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this over to the uh, stove where the oil is, and I'm just gonna take this, dip it in, and then drop it into the uh, fryer. Let a lot of the excess drip off. Let a couple of these things just kind of drip in there because there's always those little floaties, you know, when you go to Long John Silver's. Now generally, they will put um, MSG in, in their um, batter, okay? I do not like MSG. I don't think that it is necessary. I don't think it's good for you, but I'm going to let those guys sit in there for a minute. In fact, I'm going to turn the temperature of the fire up just a little bit, get a little bit hotter. And the way I'm doing the shrimp is the same way that you would do the chicken or you would do the cod. You know, you would dip it, let some of the excess kind of fall off, put the drippings inside here, throw it in. And of course, you can't have the shrimp without the little crispy guys, right? And that's all there is to it. There you go, guys. Long John Silver's shrimp 
with the batter, everything. You can use that, just put, uh, use cod, use the chicken fingers, same thing. Add the salt and everything like that to your tastes. But anyway, till next time, later.